Uh, maybe. I don't follow him way uh, really much, but... but Probably. I, I don't think they have ever played before. Really? No, I mean, as far, not as far as I know. Both of them have been around for quite some time, so they should have played at some point. Yeah, but yeah, at least not <laughs> since I joined the community for like one and a half year ago. Oh, okay. I know that uh, Potato Chips has uh, had a pretty good performance so far, uh, upsetting Ask Flink. Oh, no, very nice. Yeah, I beat him 3-2. Uh, uh, last tournament I was here with Ask Flink, he also lost to Potato Chips, so... Seems like he got his number or something. Mm. So, this is another Peach versus the basic game. In this matchup, I would think that... Um, Peach has to get inside of Fox's camping because uh, that's what Fox's, all the Foxes are going to do pretty much nowadays. Camp just run away in lasers. And I mean, it's a really effective strategy, so. Yeah, of course they're going to use it. Just wait and for the back uh, up smash. Yeah, and like I talked about earlier when we watched Sword vs. Gardex, um, Fox can almost play the same way here. Just trying to box Peach out with the uh, back airs and up tilts. So playing with your back to Peach when you're not laser camping here is actually very effective. So Peach should get in with like turnips or like death snacks maybe? Yeah, I would say that... Uh, or either jump? The thing is, uh, dash attacks can be shielded and crouch cancelled, which is kind of scary. Uh, so, I would say that turning to forward there is probably the best approach she has there. Yeah. But the thing is, since Fox is so fast, it's going to be hard for a video to pull turnips. He has to kind of read when uh, the ships is going to camp. Yeah. You need to create some space to be able to turn him, even more so than you have to versus Falco, since Fox is so much faster. Oh, that's such a great... Edge guard. When I when I talked with Solar, he, he like he likes to like fish out where the opponent likes to jump. At, at what space does my op opponent move if he likes to camp me or something? Yeah. Then just predicts his jump or something. Mm. And the thing is also uh, when Fox is camping, uh, his you can pretty much always push him to the ledge. Uh, well, close to the ledge. Yeah. And then he has two options more or less, which is either to go high or to go low. Yeah, I mean, he can either escape via uh, by the side platforms or he can try to run under them. Yeah. So it kind of becomes a 50 50 read. If you get a read on the Fox's position, then you have a really good shot at killing him. Yeah. Just not read early, because then you're going to get punished for it. Yeah. So, Data Chips has a pretty commanding lead for the first stock. But in this matchup, it's really hard to uh, catch up once you're behind. At least as Peach, I would say. They did surprisingly good in this matchup. I don't know how much practice he got in. Oh. The thing is, uh, even though Dreamland is usually considered a good stage for Peach, uh, versus Fox, I would not say that it's uh, the best stage, because uh, due to Fox's camping, he can pretty much run circles around Peach here. Which is kind of what we're seeing. I mean, Potato Chips is getting away all the time. And uh, whenever he doesn't get... Uh, oh. When it, whenever it gets cornered, it kind of escapes Bigger. via the top platform, which is really hard for Peach to approach on. Oh, he kind of overcommitted there. I was so close to kill for a little. Yeah. Hit it in. So oh, oh no. uh, that's kind of uh, crucial. Should have should tried to drop down with the yeah. back air. See, not Marla, that's. Yeah. <laughs> You can pretty much just refer to Armada as uh, the <laughs> textbook for how to play Peach. <laughs> oh, turn around the up smash. Oh, oh. I was so... How did he not die? Yeah, I've been really watching surprised. way too much NTSC, that's probably why. Uh, good back air to finish the game. So, okay. So we live 227? Or something? Uh, uh yeah. Smash. That's really hard. All right, FT. FT. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a better stage because Fox doesn't have any platforms to run to. Yeah, of course, he can still camp, but uh, Peach has the chain grab now. Yeah. But it's also really hard for Peach to get down. Yeah. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. We did have a lot of trouble getting down last game actually, so I don't know. This might not be as good as camping as it uh, seems. Because no, because he really yeah, only he, he might adapt a lot too. Oh, 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 oh. Good that he landed there. Uh, Potato Chips was definitely looking for him to approach. Wow, that's a good turnip. 
I am shooting grabs. This should be a kill, pretty much. Yeah. What percent does uh, Fox get out of this train guard? Uh, I think about now. Okay. Yeah, you see, he tried to so slide in there. should be now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that last grab should not have worked. Uh, what you usually do at that percent is weak dash attack to uh, down smash. Yeah. But uh, uh, I think Potato Chips wanted to shine him, but they kind of, you know, side beat because he tried to DI it most. So shine would have worked as well. Yeah, the shine would have gotten him out. I think so, at least. I don't think Peach has uh, the range to uh, outspace the shine with the grab. Okay. That should oh. be cool. yeah. From one edge to the other. Oh, that was a good dash attack. Even though it uh, didn't connect to anything, he still built some percent and didn't get punished for it. He you want to get Fox oh. at about 30-40% uh, before he can be able to uh, safely kill him from another approach. Okay. Because then he loses the crunch cancel. Yeah. Like that, now it's knocked down. Oh. I thought it went way worse actually, so. <laughs> oh. Ooh, forward. <laughs> yeah, and it re reads the wavelength into a forward smash. Now it's off stage, though. A great oh, forward air. No. Uh, he let him. What? Oh. Potato chips had a double jump, but. <laughs> He didn't use it, so he got on stage again, so I guess it's fine. Up there. Oh. Uh, too many dash attacks in a row. Yeah. Once the fox starts dash attacking too much, it's so predictable. You can always tell it's, uh, that it's coming. And dash attacks are so easy to punish, too. Yeah. So it's kinda really something you have to save. You kind of see the range where he's going to do it if you predict it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, the movement, <laughs> and then the imp jumps into a shine. I'm surprised Will did react out of shit. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. great approach. The jab is actually uh, Fox's fastest move besides the shine. Yeah, because it's like yeah, frame 3? Yeah. yeah. And uh, since you can catch the dashes into it, uh, I mean, it's really good at higher percents because you, you usually get a neutral air rough smash from it. Yeah, especially against Foltis. And uh, most people don't expect it. Of okay, course, so it's only something that you have at higher percents, but still, very yeah. useful. Yeah, the job is really good. I should know that place oh. Luigi. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I mean, Luigi has a frame 2 jab, I believe. The fastest in the game. <laughs> right now, for the chips is uh, being smart. It's just building percent. Yeah. Oh! oh. Oh, I don't know if that was smash the eye from Vidal or if it was just for the yeah. chips message. I just think it was too low. Whatever. Yeah, it looked like it was too low, but it looked like we didn't smash the eye as well. But he did a really, really good for neutral air out of shield right there. Oh, Armado no. style, and it, oh, for the five percent of a down smash. Oh, reverse. Okay, this yeah, this over. is his game. No, I'm pretty sure. Even though we dropped the edge card, it feels like we the last all the momentum in the world. Yeah, see, he doesn't even try to retreat to get the turn, he can just fight him off. Yeah. So, I think we is really confident about beating Chips right now. There wasn't any point with the turnip because he was at kill percent anyway, so he just followed him if mm. he wanted to camp it. Yeah, uh, I mean, when you're ahead of Peach, you can pretty much just go for trades. You're going to win anyway. Yeah. Peach is heavy and has a great recovery. Space is die at like 100. If, if his timing is like slightly off and air is coming out, then we're dead. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Probably the best kind of pick for a fox. Yeah, it's good for camping, but also you have a lot of combos. Like if you get enough throw from uh, the side platforms, it's usually a kill. Yeah. Oh, smart use of turning. Oh, drop to jump out of shine. That could have been really, really scary for potato chips. Oh, I thought it was going to do the the air dodge again. Oh yeah, that could have worked. But we really predicted that, so we got hit by the... Yeah, I think we did uh, actually expected a, a side B there, but it looked like he dropped his timing. He looked a little bit flustered on the camera. Oh. Oh, no. 
Oh. And that would not have worked if uh, Bullet Strips haven't, hadn't uh, mashed the side B, so he pretty much expected to get hit. Uh, yeah, I think that's a really good uh, way to tell if a player is good or not, that they actually expect what's going to happen next, so they adjust their DI. Yeah. I barely started learning that with F-Smashes from Fox. Mm. I, I know he's going to do it now. It's all about experience. I mean, uh, I think Potato Chips has been playing for at least five years. I met him in 2011, and he, I think he played even before that. So he definitely knows a lot about how the game works yeah. and what people go for. Of course, Willow really is the same. Oh, oh. Good DI, baby. Uh, I don't think we could have get, we gotten killed off that, even though uh, Potato Chips dropped the combo. Pikachu's so rough, 62%. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. The reverse. Oh, that was close. So, uh, <laughs> but it's just really good at getting the turnips. I mean, using the turnips versus Peach is actually. Uh, I think it's hilarious to watch. <laughs> but. The thing is, it can be super useful too. It's just that it's so situational since you're pretty much never gonna grab a turret unless Peach throws it at you. So, potentially will stop lasering until now. Though. Yeah. I mean, he wants to build percent so he can uh, just kill him with a safe approach. Like yeah, a, yeah. a full jump neutral air or something. Yeah. He's fishing for the Bell's Dance, which is. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's an oh, oh that, that was smash the eye. That was definitely smash the eye. Yeah. Really fast ball. Ah, oh. he read the landing. That's nice. Wait, he uh, thought it was going to go forward. Uh, yeah, uh, he definitely expected that. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, with Peach's forward air, when yeah. she fast falls, uh, Fox can pretty much always throw it with uh, it if she up smashes. Yeah. So, whenever you see it come, just go for it. Because Fox up smashes is invincible as well. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. It either trades or wins. Yeah. Depending on the timing, of course. So, at higher percents, if Peach is going to die from it, definitely go for it. I don't agree with the uh, video floating there. I think it should be just stayed grounded. Oh, we'll be back there. Good move there. He's getting a lot of these situations where he can edge guard with edge chips, yeah. but uh, he's kind of a little bit off in his position, getting stuck in uh, the lag of move yeah, or something. Because he hit them open like in the center and he doesn't reach to the yeah. edge in time. Exactly. And that's why you have to be so on point with your movement at pitch, because you need to get those edge guards from your hits. Yeah. Oh, oh. this is gonna be oh, yeah. a second hit too. That was impossible to get out of. <laughs> To get the second hit, you have to like start to appear before. Yeah, slightly before. Yeah. Oh. So it's harder to hit, but it's way more uh, efficient. Yeah. And potato chips drops. Uh, that a oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh he got. Oh, oh, he didn't catch it. Maybe he doesn't need it. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't need it. <laughs> you fast fall there, I think. Yeah, he must have done it. He's afraid of the shine or something. Yeah. I think that too. He was expecting the data chips to shine after he got hit by the RP. So he tried to fast ball, but he did too much. He's always hitting the chips up from the center and pull turnips and throw him. Yeah. Oh, okay. good turnip. I think this might go to game 5. It all depends on what uh, we do lost right now. Yeah. Well, he's gotten a lot of percent in just a few hits, so it's looking good for him. So of course, stage? you can uh, never underestimate the shine. What stage is left? Is Yoshi's? Oh. Yoshi's left, I think. Yeah, I think he would. <laughs> Potato Chips is probably going for Yoshi's. Yeah. He could take him to... Uh, Yoshi's or Dreamland, that's the two stages left, isn't mm. it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what about Battlefield? 
No, I thought they played bad for the first game. Oh, yeah. Because his counter break was FD and uh, FOD. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to do it just anyway. Yeah. Oh. For the chips is being smart with his shines. He's not landing with them, he's just trying to pick uh, Weedle off with some aerial shines to uh, push him off center stage. Yeah. Because we're seeing that quite a lot in the set that Weedle is the one with center stage while the Tetris Chips is staying, is staying on the sidelines. And uh, that's not a very good position for us to have. Because uh, it's like very easy to get cornered by Peach. It seems Especially like if she gets started. If Peach has to turn if she can uh, pretty much cover one option, like Fox going for platform yeah. with the turnip and then uh, go low and hit him twice to run. But the first stock is really man, but oh, really good. Seems like Will is a little more aggro, that's why I put it in the scene. Don't get an elation charge. But this is really close. Oh. 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 Uh, really unsafe in this matchup against Peach. Uh, it's good versus crunch cancel, yeah. but uh, Peach can smash the eye it, yeah. so it uh, kind of misses in the end, and then she can mash grab or down smash. Okay. But a lot of the time, I would say the drill is useful. You have to adjust it for the smash the eye, so it's not impossible to combo off it even if uh, the opponent is good at smash the eye. And it's probably good to like predict the yeah, jumps. like this. You oh. see. That's nice. So it's a really good uh, way to uh, hit Peach when she's grounded and you're expecting her to crouch cancel. Yeah. Or maybe because if you're crouch canceling, they're going to be holding down, right? So yeah. it's also hard to adjust uh, the stick so that you're smashing the eye once it starts hitting you. But their oh. timing on the... <laughs> on the L cancel is going to be really tight. Right? Absolutely. But that's just, that shouldn't be a matter, to be honest. No. But it is though. Yeah, of course. This game is so hard, so all the technical things matter in the end. He just got a le really oh. good lead. Oh, this is gonna be given. Uh, he was too eager there. He should have waited. Oh, he's gonna have to good grip now. Yeah. Oh, so last dog, last match. This is still really, really tight. Oh. Oh. oh! That was ballsy. I did not expect that nuclear to kill. I did not. But that was a super good comment to finish the set. <laughs> so, we have uh, potato chips in top 5. Wow. Yeah, it's sick. Anyway, uh, I actually got to play Winner Semis myself pretty soon, so I'm okay. going to go off to warm up.